<coughs> good day all uh, now I'm, I'm going to demonstrate how uh, how to use this uh, automation tool in this particular scenario the translator is interested to translate the document from english to hindi so maybe you in your scenario depends on the language you select Maybe you may have uh, from English to Telugu or English to Kannada or Tamil or Marathi. And we have loaded uh, one document, I mean, you know, I send one particular uh, document to a translator where you see uh, unique symbols and you see some uh, images and some formulas, etc. So this will auto translate when you open the tool, it auto translates everything and give you an option. So once you have that auto translation in place, but you feel something you want to add or amend or edit. Example, in this scenario, I can see, I can delete what I want in this editor and I can record and paste that uh, particular uh, thing. So example, if I go here, Aaj, Aaj me ye document ko translate karunga. आज मैं ये डॉक्यूमेंट को ट्रांसलेट करूंगा सो यू ऑल यू नीड टू डू इज क्लिक ऑन कॉपी एंड देन सेलेक्ट द प्लेस वेयर यू वांट टू पेस्ट एंड डू कंट्रोल वी और राइट क्लिक एंड पेस्ट तो ये एक है इफ यू इफ यू वांट टू ऐड एनी न्यू फार्मूलास देन ऑल यू नीड टू डू इज क्लिक ऑन दिस कैटेक्स एंड यू टाइप दैट पर्टिकुलर formula and it will basically takes that formula and uh, you can copy and paste it example in if you click on ktex you will get all kinds of uh, different uh, symbols every uh, combination of symbols example i will take one uh, and i will try to uh, paste it here uh, we will try something uh, this a b c d array so all you need to do is just copy this from here go back to the editor and uh, start uh, pasting so if you want to change this abcd to something else so it's very simple all you need to do is you know put it like this so e example i'm just doing like f and you can change the size of the font size and say submit so you will see that particular um, you know thing here so it's very simple and if you want to do something superscript so you have that option example if you want to do a superscript of uh, of this particular symbol so you select it and uh, one is you can do subscript the second one you want you if you want to do a superscript you can click on superscript and if you want to make anything bold you select that particular word you can make it bold you can make it italic you can make it underlined and you can change the alignment so we have all these options ready so once you um, finish your uh, textual translation which consists of images as well as a uh, different formulas and text then you can go towards uh, recording an audio so if you come down you will see one placeholder where you can record uh, your audio so all you need to do is you can start speaking so example you can click on it and it will start uh, if you see the number right it is started recording so aaj mein ye particular document ko mai edit karunga so if you want to take a break all you need to do is just push this button and it will uh, pause you can finish your work and come back after taking break again you can start from there and you can start speaking how many isme kitna first mein isme choice karunga ye alpha delta ko uske baad mein dusra number n choices le lunga usme ye ye tarika ka changes ho jayenge to once you finish all this then all you need to do is press this particular button so once you press you can hear what you recorded so you can you can hear all that and uh, once you finish all that if up if you feel you know you're not comfortable you want to re-record you clear this or if you feel it is correct and comfortable and you know you feel uh, what you recorded your audio message and the frequency and the meaning everything is correct you need to click on upload the minute you click on upload it will get attached to this 
and it has another beauty is it will say it will give you notification audio attached and then it has two different um, scenarios one is uh, save as draft so if you want to work uh, this document uh, you know if let's say it's a 15 pages document you you can, you want to work on two pages then you want to go to the third fourth slowly so you have that capability and at the same time once you finish all the pages then you can go and you can do a save and send for approval so once you send for approval then it will get logged for you so that's the way it works and we have created one small uh, video also it is attached but it's a bit old video which you see here but now we will try to append a new one and we will give one print option as well as snipper tool these are the two things you know which way work in progress once we have that in place we will forward you that uh, to everyone thank you very much i hope uh, it is clear